Hi, it's been a while since we had a buns in the oven program and we wanted to reach out to you because we miss you gals and we wanted to touch in a virtual form until we know what we're going to what's going to happen uh, when with the program when it's going to start as it normally would. So for those new to buns in the oven, I'm Dominic and usually I'm accompanied by other beautiful face like Kim, Lisa, um, some volunteers, Deepika, and some guests, and Stephanie at childcare. And, but today you only have my beautiful face hot. So, um, for those who don't know Buns in the Oven, it's a, a prenatal nutritional program, which means that we're trying to give you information about nutrition to have the healthiest pregnancy and the healthiest baby. And we do that through all kinds of means. We, uh, we basically talk food, we prepare food, we eat food, and anything related to, uh, to nutrition, like breastfeeding or shopping, uh, reading labels. Um, sometimes we play games, sometimes we have guest speakers coming in and talking about a specific subject. And sometimes we do craft, but most of the time we'll have like a topic we'll talk about and we'll prepare a meal together, we'll eat together, and we'll exchange information. And one of the things we usually start with is like a go around question to get to know each other a little bit. And it usually, we go around like introducing who you are, how many months pregnant you are, or how, how old your baby is. And, um, and then to a, the question, we'll say like today, I want the, the, uh, the theme of this blog would be, uh, is this blog? Yeah. The thing of this video's uh, theme is like produce because we have a whole bunch of produce. So my question for a uh, round ago, a ro round ago, road again, <laughs> would be what is your favorite produce or vegetable? And sometimes I would throw a twist, a twist on it and I'll say like, did you, is, is there a vegetable that you used to hate as a child of before that now you kind of like is there have has there been a change because sometimes you'll see that change in your child like because when they're young they don't like something and you can't just stop trying that let's say they don't like carrots you can't just stop trying carrots you're gonna keep on having to try it and as as adults we've been through that too so since you guys are not here i can't ask you this question i decided to go around and ask the staff what is their favorite uh, produce and have they ever had one they hated and now they enjoy? So let's go find out what, they don't know I'm going to do this though. So. Let's see what they say. Woo! Oh, look, 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 look. This is the most I've ever had in a long time film. Join the circus, girl. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> that was great. So Brian, what's your favorite produce and is there any produce that you used to not like and now you enjoy? Let's see here. I would probably have to say potatoes are my favorite vegetable. They can be done in a variety of ways and of which I don't mind any of the ways. And the vegetable I hated as a child was Brussels sprouts and now Brussels sprouts are excellent, especially with a little bit of salt, a little bit of vinegar, or a little bit of um, lemon juice. Really good. Thank you. So, what is your favorite produce? Um, it used to be carrots when I was a kid, and now it's broccoli. And was there any maybe a vegetable you used to not like and now you enjoy? Cauliflower. I used to hate cauliflower because I hated chewing it, <laughs> and I really love cauliflower with some butter and some salt. <laughs> Thank you. So what's your favorite produce? So my favorite produce in the whole wide world presently is watermelon. I'm sure some people know that I have watermelon with my breakfast almost every day. Ha! Ha! <laughs> and is there anyone that you used to hate and now you enjoy? So I used to hate um, Brussels sprouts, like with a burning passion. Now I love them. Give me them roasted, boiled, steamed, however you can make Brussels sprouts. I love them. All right. I love them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Becky. Um, my favorite produce? Oh my gosh. That's hard. I love veggies. 
I think I'm gonna have to go with cauliflower. I love cauliflower because it's so versatile. You can do so much with it and just roast it with all kinds of good stuff. Ugh, it's delicious. Mm, that's good. What was the other question? Is there a produce you used to hate and now you enjoy? I used to hate avocados when I was younger. I hate them. I just thought they were weird. The texture was gross and they tasted gross. And now I just love them. I could eat them with a spoon. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alex. Um, so a produce that I love, I think it's probably zucchini, um, especially in the summertime. Grilled over barbecue, just with some olive oil, salt and pepper, super delicious. And something that I used to hate as a kid that I love now is um, acorn squash. Yeah, I don't know, my parents used to make it all the time at Thanksgiving and I never would eat it. Um, but today now, yeah, I love making stuff out. Yeah, it's another versatile one too. Yeah. Good choice, thank you. Hey. So I didn't tell you what my favorite produce was. It's um, sweet potato. And something I used to dislike was cilantro, which is actually a herb, and now I, I love it. I have it everywhere. I plant it and I eat it on anything, especially salsa. All right, so in the hallway, this so we're Thursday and Friday's food bank. On Thursday, we have Harvest House that comes and delivers produce to us. They pick it up from stores, so when the produce is past its prime, it's it's not the top, but it's still very good and usable. We get some, we go through it, get pick out the be the best one for you guys. And so I want to go through it to see if there was anything that you might not really know. So the first one we have tomatoes, really something you know. Oh, and here I see um, we have a bunch of avocados, which you know Becky's. Good one with Becky. And this thing, you might want to come for a close up to this. It's okra or gumbo. So people from uh, maybe from the islands, they might have known that like for a, they sometimes fry it and or make gumbo soup. And it's time inside it's very different. It's like little balls, it's a little bit gluey, but that's normal. It's not past its prime when it's gluey. It's actually, these actually look pretty good. They would make great soup. So okra, if you have this in your food bank, look up on maybe an okra soup. Could be spicy. I also have a few eggplant. And eggplant, uh, you could, what I did actually for supper yesterday, I just chopped one up in the, in the casserole dish. I put a spice on it like um, oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, salt, pepper, and I put a can of tomato sauce. Just mix it up in the oven about half an hour, 350, and then top it with cheese. Super easy and it's veggies. Definitely is a different texture. My husband hates this texture because it's a little bit rubbery, but if you enjoy it, go for it. Here we have peppers, cucumbers, zucchini. Um, so salads, you can make a lot of salad. Peppers, if you get a lot, we don't have a whole lot now, but sometimes we get a whole lot. One uh, easy thing to do is to washing washing them, you cut them and slice them in little um, chunks, put them on a tray in your freezer to freeze them separately, Like, and then when they're, when they're solved, uh, frozen, you just uh, bag them up and they're ready to go. So in the sauce, you just throw a handful of peppers already uh, cut up, and you don't need to pre-cook them when you, uh, when you freeze them. They're good, fresh. Zucchini, a bunch of stuff, uh, stir fry, um, muffins, more cucumber and this is also a zucchini it looks a little bit different so we have three different kind of zucchini you have the yellow the whitish and the green so any of them we could use interchangeably in any recipe that has zucchini or courgette they're all the same thing and let's see what we have up there <laughs> we have a bit of uh, grapes and um, yeah, the grapes are if you when you get them, really wash them because sometimes they might have little flies and you don't want to eat that. So wash them, let it soak in cold water to get them um, crunchy again. We have this is also two different types of mangoes. We have a tufu here, and I think this is a cedar or a gusto or whatever. But so this is a big one. When it's green, it's not, well, actually, just by feeling it, you know, it's a bit soft, it should be okay. Sometimes you'll cut it and the section is not okay. It's maybe a bit darker or veiny. That's fine, just cut that part out. Just keep whatever looks good and tastes good. Don't have to throw out the whole produce just because one part's not good. We have a few peaches. 
So now it's gonna be the season of peaches, gonna start in Ontario pretty soon. We have some orange that are very good to juggle with, but also to eat, and some big grapefruit. So tomorrow, Food Bank is gonna deliver us more produce. So you might have to find some of those in your um, in your box, and you might not, but you might find other stuff. Too. So if I look at this and I want to find. It's not a whole lot of variety today, but I thought maybe we could make a quick smoothie because we also have some soy milk that came from Food Bank. It's still good. So I think we're gonna go with a couple of mango, soy milk, and see what we can do. Maybe add an orange, I'm not sure. We'll play with that. Frozen banana in the microwave, 30 seconds. That was in my freezer, of course. And we'll see how that works. So we have almond milk here. Dash away. Uh, oh, we have an avocado. Maybe we could add the avocado. Would that be weird? And smoothie? <laughs> I'm looking at I don't know. Oh, come on, internet, answer me. All right, so 30 seconds. Should just want to have some, oh, not too bad. So I'm able to peel it and this part is. So I froze them. Oh, I don't need this. I think I'm okay now. Far enough. So I froze these uh, because they weren't perfect. Um, all right, so I'm cutting the parts that are not too great. So I, I am just chopping this. I am fortunate enough to have a Vitamix. So if you don't have a strong uh, blender, but any blender would do, a uh, food processor, just make sure you don't put too much liquid in the food processor. There's usually a line. Um, sometimes you can have like a little bullet for smaller things or um, immersion blender. I also have one of those here. Something you can just use, put them inside of a container that it won't overflow. So those are options for a smoothie. So that's what we're gonna do. Banana. I'm gonna cut up this. Okay, I'm touching this mango. It's too soft. Doesn't look. I think it's past its prime, but this one looks okay. And um, so I'm gonna cut it in the middle. There's a big pit, so I'm just letting my knife follow the pit. So that's really pretty good. So doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna, at this point, there's different ways of doing it. I'm just gonna cut it and follow the skin and have it the inside there. And if there's a bit of skin on that thing, I'm just gonna chop it up. too much just for example so we do have avocados up there I was thinking we could but I don't know I'm having a weird response from my videographer <laughs> I love avocados but in a smoothie but in a smoothie yeah I don't know people like they sell frozen avocado it's for I think it's more for a smoothie because if you try to do guacamole from frozen avocado it's terrible it's not not good so I think it might be just for like your baby food or for adding to uh, like chocolate pudding. Sometimes people do it with avocado. Just avocado mashed with cocoa. I think we should try it. Put an avocado in there? Yeah. Okay. Need to wash my hands. I'm gonna grab it. Okay, Mr. Avocado. When you get your avocado from the store, they are usually green. So you keep it at room temperature until they start to get a little bit soft. And you, at that point, you can eat it or put it in your fridge. They can stay up to two weeks in the fridge. I've done that. But it, um, it's a hit or miss with avocado. And not cheap, but you open them and then you find out what you got. What do we have now? Hmm. 
not the best. See this brown spot? But it's not a complete loss. What it looks like. So if I would do a guacamole, that would be fine. Add some uh, lemon juice and it's probably taste. I also want to taste it because it might look okay, but it might not. I'm taking the biggest part out. I'm going to have a little taste here just to see if it tastes. Actually, it's good. So I'm going to add this half here with the blemishes. It's going to be full of other stuff. And the other. So I have half an avocado in there. Okay, that'd be good. Um, <laughs> should we venture with orange juice? <laughs> this might turn out the fiasco. Usually at buns, we don't make fiascos. <laughs> Usually. Oh, this is actually a really good orange. Like, I don't know if the rest are like that, but this is great to make orange juice, actually. I am gonna put it whole in my thing. So, putting it whole, I'm adding all the fiber of it. I would not have cut it like that otherwise, but this is really juicy. I'm just squeezing it out in there. Yeah, that's the kind of oranges you want to have if you're making orange juice. Wow, it smells so good. Kind of getting a flesh out of there. It's a bit of a mess. Okay, you could do a better job than what I'm doing. <laughs> this is pretty bad. I should have just peeled it and put it all over. Okay, so this is not gonna be a big portion. We have part of a banana, part of a mango, part of an avocado, and half an orange. I'm gonna add my, and the reason I'm putting almond milk, you can put all ordinary milk, is because that's what we have here that was donated at the food bank. Some honey. This one is pasteurized. Always make sure you're doing it for kids that you're choosing pasteurized honey. Let's see what we get. It's gonna be loud. Don't often do this. <laughs> the color is a little bit. Hmm. St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we'll, uh, smells of banana, to be honest. Banana tea. So I'm pouring a seal, it's pretty thick. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> That is super good. <laughs> it's so creamy. Banana takes over. We had a little bit of mango and the orange and just a little bit of acidity. No, this is super good. So that's it. You never know what you're gonna get here. I feel like I have a smoothie mustache. So that is for the first episode of Virtual Buns in the Oven. Next week, I hope to have, let's hold this week or in the future I hope to do these with Lisa or for with other staff and so that you get a better idea of who's actually involved with buns in the oven and that's it I think that's it this is my outro I'm horrible horrible outro so see you next time <music>